For more than a century, the USGA and Pinehurst have embodied the spirit of the world's most revered pastime. From helping to introduce the game to a young nation, to creating and hosting the most prestigious golf championship in America, these two organizations have shared an unwavering standard and a commitment to tradition. And now, in an unprecedented move, they're making history together once again. As both the 2014 U.S. Open and U.S. Women's Open Championships are played back to back in consecutive weeks on Pinehurst No. 2. The United States Golf Association was formed in 1894 to serve as the nation's governing body of golf. As the USGA conducted its very first U.S. Open Championship in 1895, Pinehurst welcomed its first guests to the sandy hills of North Carolina. The resort's rugged terrain reminded a young Scotsman named Donald Ross of his beloved homeland. And soon, he was serving as Pinehurst's head golf professional and course architect. It was here Ross embarked on what would become his lifelong work, designing the legendary Pinehurst No. 2. Throughout history, both Pinehurst and the USGA have dedicated themselves to encouraging all golfers, men and women, juniors and seniors, amateurs and professionals. The USGA conducts 13 national championships every year, and Pinehurst has hosted the men's and women's North and South Amateur Championships since 1901 and 1903, respectively. It's where Ben Hogan saw his first professional win, where Arnold Palmer honed his skills as a student at Wake Forest University, where Richard Tufts, Pinehurst heir and former USGA president, devoted his life to amateur golf, working with the USGA and the RNA to develop a universal code of golf rules and eventually bringing the U.S. Amateur to Pinehurst in 1962. And it's where Glenna Collett Vare, Maureen Orcutt, Babe Zaharias, and Peggy Kirk Bell got their starts, winning North and South women's amateur titles. Future generations would test their skills at other championship venues in the Sandhills as well. Three Women's Open Championships have been held on the Donald Ross course at Pine Needles Lodge and Golf Club, developing and crowning some of the greatest champions in women's golf today. But the arrival of championship golf in Pinehurst culminated with the 1999 U.S. Open. The 1999 U.S. Open at Pinehurst would become one of the most memorable championships of the decade as Phil Mickelson and Payne Stewart found themselves tied on the 18th green. Mickelson watched his 25-foot putt fail to fall, giving Stewart one more chance to claim the victory that had escaped him the year before. As the crowd held its breath, Stewart lined up the stroke that would secure him his second national championship and proved to be one of the most dramatic finishes in U.S. Open history. The U.S. Open returned to Pinehurst six years later. In 2005, it was a Cinderella story as young, unheralded Jason Gore found himself vying for the lead with seemingly invincible defending champion Retief Goosen. But by Sunday afternoon, player after player dropped off the leaderboard as each faced what Donald Ross called the fairest test of golf. Far outside the spotlight, New Zealand's Michael Campbell steadily played shot by shot and hole by hole. With a four-day total of even par, Campbell quietly edged Tiger Woods by two strokes and realized his dream of becoming a U.S. Open champion. In 2014, our esteemed national championships will return to Pinehurst. This time, in a never-before-seen two-week test of men's and women's golf. As these two incomparable contests take place on Ross's legendary Pinehurst No. 2, its notoriously difficult conditions will set a pressure-filled stage to spotlight the greatest in men's and women's golf. Be a part of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see the best in men's and women's golf 
compete for our national championship titles in two consecutive weeks on one unforgettable course. Help thousands of USGA fans, supporters, and golfers continue the rich legacy of championship golf in the Sandhills in 2014 as the United States Golf Association and Pinehurst come together to make history once again.